Whoa, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to another Jump Dash building video. It's been far too long. It's been far, far too long, but I received a DM today informing me of this Twitter post and tag that I got from Herman GD. So I opened Twitter, I gave it a search, and it's sourced here. Apparently, two objects made this whole mess. There's a bunch of stuff posted here, like this infinite rainbow vortex that goes in the center. The image takes like forever to load. Look at this thing. This looks sick. And then there's this whole video linked with it. It just looks insane. So now I want to mess with rainbow blocks because, wow, I mean, I assume it's a rainbow block. Look at this thing. That is that or is that not a rainbow? Hmm? I think I can get to the bottom of this in this video. It's It must just be a simple rainbow block followed by a bunch of 2.2 shaders. So I'm just going to try it out, see what I can make with the distorted effects and just have a good time. Let's just run it. So we got to set down a rainbow block. I think I can find these pretty easily. They stick out like a store, a, a sto a store thumb. Store thumb. Let's warp it a little bit. Let's make this interesting. Okay. We're going to make this group numero uno and we're going to make it a static camera just so it's in the very center of the screen. Number one, zero seconds. So now we just have this rainbow object. Cool. So now I believe if I go through the shaders like uh, shockwave, <gasps> it's real. Thickness going up. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Oh, eh, it's too fast. It's too fast. We need to increase the duration if I can. Thickness uh, wave W. Let's just increase that. Whoa. Okay. So now we have like a little pivot where it goes in and out. And what happens if I turn wave W all the way down? How does that work? Zero, I guess. Okay. Whoa, whoa. I see the uh, the distortion here. Well, I can't really zoom in on it. We're on the right lines. Look at this thing. That's nuts. We're going to combine this with a bulge. We're going to have the radius is like two times. Uh, fade time. Wait, a lot, right? Or do we want it on zero? Dude, the level's gone. I can't find the trigger anymore. <laughs> I can see the triggers there, but clicking on them does nothing. I need to turn off the preview and then go back. This is such a mess, dude. Okay, let's just do like a multiple of two. I think that's why it's breaking. Oh my god. I don't think this is what the plan was. Next stop, just a simple rotation for this object. I think a, a casual four times in 20 seconds would do us good. That's just gonna take us. Oh my goodness. This is so trippy. Dude! This is doing great things already. I like it. I like it. And then if I scale this object as well, number two, if I scale it to like four times, oh, this is going to go crazy if I just play. It's just going to change. Yep, it's getting more and more colorful. Oh, man. Look at my icon. <laughs> what else can I add to this? Uh, chromatic glitch. Sure, why not? Speed, bajillion. Strength, bajillion. Line thing, just bajillion. Line strength, bajillion. Uh, I don't know what these things do. Oh, boy. Oh, it's like, it's wavy. Motion blur. Uh, we gotta crank this too. Uh, intensity. There we go. Right, let's try it now. Oh god, <laughs> this is so weird. I look like spaghetti. This looks so cool, but it's getting less intense because the black is just like fading out. I like it in the motion though with the shockwave. I just put like nine, 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 nine on the fade out. Maybe it'll just last forever. I hope. Yes, this is better, dude. I'm gone though. My icon is gone, but that's fine. Oh no, he's still there. He's a strand, but if I move further away, then I can get him out the picture. There we go. Oh, this looks so sick already. And get this, I can change the colors on the fly with a quick little invert color. If I do a fade time of like eight seconds, maybe. We just press play. It's gonna just, oh God, it's gonna go gray first, right? Oh, oh, that's weird. And then, <laughs> uh, what else can I add to this mix? The hue. The hue is gonna be awesome if I 180 it over like 20 seconds. It's just gonna change the whole time and just make it a trippy rainbow mess. So it's gonna go gray first, but then it's gonna invert and it's gradually gonna change hue. And this is this is like the most psychedelic thing I have ever looked at in the Geometry Dash level editor. <laughs> what is this? How would you even build with this as the background? It's wild. Maybe what I could do is on the scale. Oh, I'm scaling it wrong. How did I not notice? <laughs> When I changed it to two times, I, I mean, I was going to do this anyway, but I was going to stretch it more on the Y as like a test now, but turns out I already did that the first time somehow. Wait, so what, what even, what's even going to happen this time? Oh, this is such a mess. It's just a blurry mess. This is crazy. What else can I add? What else can I add? Lens circle? I don't think this is going to help. Pixelate? We can make it turn up and down. Hold on. Give me a sec. Uh... How do I make this work? If I just drag some of the lines to 
to the left and to the right. Maybe this will do something? I don't actually know, so uh, let's just give it a shot. I don't see any pixels, question mark. I see nothing. I see nothing at all. I think the bulge should move. I think I should make this like a 10 times bulge, ease in out, and just make it a 20 second fade time. That way when I play, it's gonna start off flat, and then it's gradually gonna get more and more foggy. Ignore that invert. But then we see it kind of build up, but it's also gonna move. You see the circle is shrinking on the inside. Oh, this looks so much better. This is sick. Hold on, I'm cooking right now. This is amazing. Why does it look like it's split up in like quadrants? You see that? Oh, now it's just <laughs> entirely green. What did I do? What even happened to this? It's probably scaled up. What? <laughs> how do I make this? How do I make this as a thing in the level? What the heck? This thing looks awesome. Uh, we'll also combine that with a glitch. If I just make that a 20 second fade time, the key is making sure it's changing over time so you get that trippy look. What else can I add? Split screen. We could do split screen afterwards. Let's just play a little bit, get our cube out the mix. What's gonna happen this time? I'm actually genuinely curious. It's probably gonna look very similar to the first time because of how how crazy all of these effects are all at once. How much is, is already being done. You can barely tell the difference between like infinity plus one, right? Oh, and we're back to green. Maybe if I start scaling it back down, that might be a good idea. How long does this thing take? 20 seconds? I gotta change that to a 10. Wait, there was two scale triggers that whole time? Oh man. <laughs> I accidentally copy pasted them on top of each other, man. That's probably why the rainbow is getting so unbelievably big. Okay, now we just click divide. There we go. Is it ever gonna shrink? Dude! <laughs> this thing is stupid. Oh man, I lost the source. It looked so much cooler before. And the thing is, with these triggers, you can't just undo. You have to kind of know what's going on. Wave W. We'll make that one again. Oh, 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 this is very, very jumpy now. Interesting. Yo, if I could somehow sync that to some sort of music, that would be awesome. And I think I have to try split screen, right? Uh, fade time. We'll do a 20. We'll do a target 10 and 10. Let's just do that real quick. Easy now, for sure. Let's just give it a shot. Let's just see what happens. I really don't know what to expect with split screen. If that even works with the static camera, I don't even know. I haven't been using use X and use Y on these triggers. That's why some of them aren't changing anything and I can't figure it out. I think we're all good to go now. This is probably gonna look a lot different. Oh my gosh, what is about to happen to me? What is happening? Oh God, why is it the same color? Oh, this is so trippy. Oh, you will subscribe to Woolsey. Ooh, you now believe in Woolsey's superiority. What is this? <laughs> There's a little bit of color bleeding into this, I think, that makes it look a little bit better, but it's just so distorted. Like, if I pause on the most noisy moments, like, what is even happening in there? Is it even picking up on my video at all? I can't, I, I, I don't know, dude. Oh, and now the screen's went away. Oh, and it's back, oh. Dude, what is going on? The more I zoom in in the editor, the more it loses its color. The more I zoom out, the more it goes white. I, I don't know. <laughs> Go experiment with it yourself and tweet me with anything that you make that looks cool because I am so interested. Thank you so much for watching this Georgie Dash video. Check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe and have a good day.